and welcome back to my channel. Today, I felt like getting scissor happy. So I feel like there's several plants in my collection at this point that I have just let grow quite long and not leggy. I would not consider this leggy at all, but they have just outgrown their sort of situations. And so I figured I would do some chopping of things. Also, I'm gonna chop up my Milano Chrysler because I don't like it anymore. And I'm going to sell it or give it away or just give people cuttings as gifts on the street. Um, if I approach you <laughs> and offer you cutting up a Milano Chrysler, I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> but if you see me, you can ask. But yeah, I'm just going to chop up some stuff that I feel like needs chopping. And like, I don't know, the new year has gotten me like feeling very into wanting new starts and new starts for a lot of my plants. So I'm gonna kind of give them a bit of a makeover. Maybe in six months time, in a year's time, we can have a look at them again and see how they've done, if they've changed at all in this time. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that you want. Please do let me know. But yeah, I thought it was time to give things a bit of a chop. If you are new here and you don't know me already, hi, my name is Emma and I make house plenty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my house plenty journey and maybe learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I really hope you enjoy this video as well. Right, let's get chopping. So I am kind of really annoyed. Um, I know this isn't chopping, but I am kind of really annoyed because I lost already my secateurs that I literally got last month and I used in a video last month. I have no idea where they've gone. I've like looked in all the places that they would be like everywhere where I keep stuff for my plant care. I've looked there and they're just not there. So. I'm not exactly sure where some of these things are, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm going back to using my scissors. And technically I should clean them between doing things, but I am not in the mood today, and so I'm just going to chop stuff. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna like properly go crazy chopping stuff. So since this one is right in front of me, I'm going to chop this first. This is my Syndapsis Jade Satin. And it is growing really, really well. I have already taken a cutting from it at some point. Where was that point? Here. And it has grown so much since, giving me quite large growth, which is amazing. It's just been in my IKEA cabinet, kind of climbing the wall or like the grid at the back. And I think it's really, really liked that. But it has gotten re to like reach the top now and it's kind of this whole section. You can see where it's bent. That's the roof of the cabinet, or like the ceiling of the cabinet. And so all of that's growing along the top, which isn't the best for it. You can see the growth is getting smaller and smaller. So it is time to chop and prop. So I'm going to start cutting away, I guess. I think... I'm going to chop here and leave two leaves on the plant because like this is a bit of a tiny runner section which will be really good for rooting and then I'm going to chop at regular-ish intervals throughout. I don't want to lose any of these big leaves. So, the stem gets thicker here. So like, like look at the difference in the stem size there. It gets a lot thicker in this top bit. So I feel like these bits have a lot more potential, but they're just not getting the light they need at that point. So I am going to adjust it. I think I might repot this one as well. 
into this container with a trellis because I know it's liking having something to climb and wind itself around and so I think that will help. So I need to go grab some more semi-hydro, which I can do in a second. And I also need to grab a little jar for water for these because I'm going to water pop them. This one is in semi-hydro and I want to keep it in semi-hydro so water propping makes the most sense to prop for roots to go into semi-hydro. If I was planning on putting the cuttings into a soil mix, like when I chop this one, my brandy, I'm going to prop this in moss because I find the transition from moss to soil is quite easy and water to semi-hydro is quite easy. Now I'm not saying you can't do them the other way, like you can do moss to semi-hydro or water to soil, that's like not a problem, it's totally doable. I just find it slightly easier to do it this way and it kind of helps me differentiate things and get an idea in my head of what I'm doing with each of them. Because if I have props like this in water, then I'll know that I'm planning on putting them in semi-hydro. So let me get some semi-hydro and some a pot with water for these. One second. Oh, yolk. Here is my pot with water. And I'm just gonna plonk all these cuttings in. I'm gonna have to keep this one quite topped up with water because the nodes aren't very deep in this vessel, but I can I can manage that. There we go. So also these leaves, ooh, I'm just spilling already. I'm pretty sure these leaves have gotten a bit sunburnt where they get a little bit too close to the light. That's what causes them to get those spots instead of staying this sort of green. I mean, these leaves are also really dirty. Um, just a quick wipe with a wet hand. That's what they're supposed to look like. But they're getting a bit sun stressed from the grow light in the Mills bow. So, I mean, I don't mind it that much. I just, for a while I was nervous about it. I thought it might be like a fungal thing or something, but it's not, it's just um, sun stress. So it's good to know what your problems are when you're having problems. Otherwise I would be a lot more stressed. Let us, yes, it can stay in the same pot, sweet. Oh my goodness, what a root system. It's so healthy. And you're gonna go in there. Ah. And I'm gonna put it quite deep as well because it does have quite a lot of stem there with nothing on it. So like there. And then I'll clip this on here a little bit later, I guess. For now, it can just kind of stay like that. But I think it will like this trellis. I'll probably put it back in the cabinet where it is. In theory, I could also probably get away with not putting the trellis in now, but if I know I wanna use a trellis later, I may as well put it in now. So it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, this will be fine. And then once all those cuttings grow roots, they can just go straight in there and I'll have like a lot more of a bushy plant, which is what I want because I have, I think I have quite a few plants at the minute which I got as like single cuttings. Like this brandy is a single cutting, single vine. And because I got them as single cuttings, they grew single vines. And now that they've outgrown their like situation, I need to chop and prop and make them fuller again, which is kind of the goal with all of them. So I'm turning them from one long cutting into a bit of more of a bushy plant, which I prefer and that's kind of like the goal of how I want my collection to look. I want it to look a lot bushier and fuller rather than just like long scraggly vines everywhere, which there's no problem with that. It's just my opinion on how I want my collection to be. 
which is perfectly fine and valid. So, I was actually just thinking about the brandy, and I knew I had a brandy cutting up there in water, which I wanted to put in here. But I didn't realize I also have a jade satin pothos in the water up there, which I could put in to my, to this one. So it'll already be slightly fuller. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a pour a -roo. And then put this cutting in here too. And this one can climb up this side. That's the thing with having so many props. I have so many props that I don't even know what half of them are or like remember that they exist. There we go. Oh my goodness. I mean, it doesn't look like fancy or anything, but it's just ever so slightly fuller. And once those cuttings go in, it can get even more full after that. So now I'm going to do the brandy. So all of this <laughs> grew from a single tiny cutting. I showed this in my plants that grew the most in 2020 video because it has all grown from one single vine. Up here at the top, it splits from when I cut it and all of this nice growth at the top is like super lush and lovely and I would love to get these sort of leaves down at the bottom so it doesn't look as top heavy. So I am just going to cut these off. Like that. So it's still like at the top of its pole and any new growth point that comes out will continue up the top of the pole. And then I'm going to water prop Ooh, actually moss prop these. So I'll get a cup and some moss. But first I want to put this one, my cutting, into here. So it'll be ever so slightly fuller. <laughs> Two extra leaves really makes a difference. Um, but this is just in soil. So I'm just gonna dig a bit of a hole with my finger um, and plop the cutting in because that should work fine. So there we go. It is ever so slightly fuller at the bottom now, but then once I get these in and on here as well, it'll be a whole lot fuller. I also need to get better at keeping these moss poles moist. I'm pretty good at keeping the ones outside of the cabinets nice and moist, but in the cabinets, it's just a little bit more of an afterthought. So I need to stay on top of that more. I'll give this one a really, really good water after this video. But I'm going to get another vessel for these to go in um, and some moss. So I'm just using some Soil Ninja fresh moss. I am an affiliate with them if you don't know that already. If you want to use my link in the description, you can get 10% off any soil mixes and blends. I do get a tiny bit of commission, um, but it's at no extra cost to you, and you get a discount, 10% off. So, Soil Ninja, best of ever. And also, they've recently announced that they're going to be shipping to Europe soon. They're opening up a Europe warehouse, and so, people in Europe, you'll be able to get Soul Ninja very, very soon, which is super freaking exciting. I'm like so stoked for that because I'm so stoked for more of you to be able to try this like soil and components and stuff that I absolutely love. This isn't sponsored by them. I just genuinely love their stuff so much. I can't stop talking about it. And all of my plants have thrived so much in Soul Ninja that like, like even before I was an affiliate, I would talk about them constantly. <laughs> so. Y'all know it's the real deal. I freaking love Soil Ninja. So, I'm just going to chop and prop. I think I might cut this one down as well one. I probably should have waited until the new leaf popped out, but it's out enough. And there's another new leaf on the way, so like there was no way I was gonna find a time which there wasn't some new growth on there. So, that's fine. 
just going to put some moss in a plastic cup. My favorite like propping vessel. It's not got holes in the bottom or anything so the moss stays quite moist. I find it so much easier to prop in moss in a closed vessel, no drainage, because it just stays a little bit more. Like it stays happier longer and it doesn't dry out as fast which is quite important when propping in moss because you don't want things to dry out because then they will die so yeah there we go and then i'm just gonna fill in around the stems making sure that the nodes are covered in moss and i'm not packing like super tightly but i'm trying to make sure that there aren't any like big air gaps because if there's a big air gap near the node it might not be getting as much moisture as it needs to like produce roots which would be a massive shame because that's what i need them to do in order to keep them happy and healthy and nice there we go and i'm going to give this a bit of water and i'll put it in my whatchamacallit i have a prop box at the minute which is just a bunch of cups with moss in them instead of having a prop box that's moss at the bottom and then all the cuttings are just thrown in i find this to be just like a different way of doing it so i'll put that in there and that's underneath the grow light in the office shelves and once those have roots they'll go back in here so doing well getting getting things cut um which is the goal of this video i guess so i also have to chop this which has made me really really sad if any of you are on my patreon you'll have already seen but my regal i'm spilling water um my regal leaf has gone like proper dead and i've just been leaving it because i've been too sad to chop it thus far its roots are doing great like they're fine in there it is very rooted there might be some new growth coming in but it doesn't look like quite yet so i don't know but i think at this point i just need to chop this leaf off which makes me very sad because it was the like the most beautiful gorgeous leaf but it's okay hopefully this doesn't mean anything bigger is an issue i think it just got a bit sunburnt and then to dry where it was so i'm just gonna have to cut it it makes me very sad All right let's do this ah, it's so sad i mean it's a really impressive leaf like it is a huge leaf so i am not mad that i had it I just really, really, really am hoping that I get a new leaf out of this one soon because right now it's just a chunk. A sad chunk! Oh, that makes me really upset. But it had to be done. Like, there was kind of no other option at this point. And I'd rather it not, like, rot on the plant because then there's a chance that the whole thing could, like, die. So, this is what's left of my regal. And hopefully, I, I think, I hope that this bit here, that I think that's new growth, but I am not sure. And I think it might take a while, especially now that it's not got a leaf to give it energy. So, yeah, that's a sad one, but it's fine. And then next, I have my Monstera Siltipicana, which was also in my Mills bow, and it has also like reached the top of the cabinet, and so it has started to curl itself over as well. So I figured it was time to repot, not repot, um, re-chop and prop to give it even more full life. This one has been I think originally it was like one or two one or two here and then I put a third one in that I got from Claire sorry I just really want to bring this leaf over to the other side um, so it can lay flatter 
against the pole. Come on, baby. You can do it. Can you do it? You can do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry. Just had to do some rearranging there. But I think these are ready to be chopped off. There. And that's still in the pole, so there. And then hopefully I can either trade these away or add them in. Again, making it a fuller plant. This is another one that's suffered a bit from my neglect of these moss poles. It's just not been ideal, but that's okay. It is fine. And now I have some cuttings that are gonna go in water because this one is in pond. So let me go get a vessel. I should have brought all of my vessels over here before this, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Like that, and like that. There we go. All these getting water propped. Hopefully liking their new aquatic home. Pour a little bit of this out. Spill things all over. That's fine. But there we go. And then I think the last one that I want to do is this one. This is gonna be the hardest one to do. It is my Milano Chrysum because I want to chop it all up and use it for parts. I know I've been saying that a lot recently, but like that's the only thing I can think of that's like comparable. I wanna use it for parts. So I'm just going to cut. Oh, I shouldn't have cut there. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Well, I've done it now. I've chopped all of them off. These are all separate cuttings. I just need to see if I can... I'm just gonna rip them out. They can reroot. And then I can... I'm gonna have to go through this moss pole and take all the moss out and take all the roots out of the moss and dismantle it. I mean, this leaf is just honestly not even worth saving anymore. This is like the original leaf from the original plant. And I guess I could do the bottom cutting. I might just throw it away. Is that bad? I've never done something like that before. I've never just thrown the bottom away. I don't know what to do. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, I'll think about it. I don't need to decide right this second. So I have some leaf cuttings, which I've ripped out of the pole. To be honest, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. If I put them just back in moss, they'll probably all be perfectly fine. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them in moss. And if they don't do well, that's that. I'm over this plant anyway. I talked about it in my, um, what was it? Place I'm struggling with video in December. Like I am just so over my Milano Chrysum. I haven't been feeling it for quite a long time. And it's just like, I'm ready to, like not have it anymore. I have so many other plants that are growing so much better that it's kind of like, what's the point of keeping this if it's not bringing me as much joy anymore? So I'm not going to. I am gonna separate two cuttings because I did promise them to a friend. So I'll pick two of the nice ones and I'll put them in a different cup and Although this is going to go in my like cuppy prop box, these props I don't think I'm going to keep. I think I've just accepted that Milano Chrysoms aren't necessarily for me. I love, 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 love Milano Chrysoms. I think that they are beautiful when they grow really well. I don't know if I've just had one that doesn't have great genes or what, or if I'm not caring for it correctly, which are, all of those things are possibilities. I don't wanna rule anything out. 
I think I'm caring for it correctly because I have many other philodendrons, many other velvet philodendrons that are growing well, like my Splendid and stuff is growing really, really well, but my Milano Chrysum just is not, and it hasn't been for pretty much the entire time I've had it. It has grown up the pole multiple times, but it has never, ever, ever sized up, which has been quite frustrating to me because all I've wanted was to be able to grow a big, beautiful Milano Chrysum, and it's just, it's just not happening. And so at this point, I think I'm going to accept defeat and stop stressing about it. And don't need to worry about it anymore. I don't need to worry about having a whole big plant anymore. Like that's not, it's not where I need my energy to go. I'd much rather spend time caring for plants that I'm actually enjoying and loving. And so this is me getting rid of a plant that I don't care about anymore and chopping it up so somebody else can hopefully love it more somewhere else. That's not my house. <laughs> I feel good about that decision. I know, like, it's hard to make that decision. I know it's difficult, but I genuinely do feel good about that. So I, I feel a bit lighter having done that. And you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw that away. I'm not gonna throw the pole away, absolutely not. And I will take the roots out of the sphagnum moss and boil that and reuse that. So like, it's not going to waste, but the root system in there, I'm, I'm done with it. it. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Throwing it away. There we go. Ding. And then I have a couple wet sticks, which I'm just going to chuck in one of my prop boxes with the moss at the bottom, because I find that like the easiest way to prop wet sticks. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I feel like I've done so much. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I didn't know if I was gonna do it for this video. I thought about it, but I wasn't sure. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna chop up my pink princess, the whole thing. Let me, let me go get it. Oh my God, this is a big deal. This is a huge deal. Slight camera angle change because look at this beast. Like if I'm standing up, it is boob height on me, which is pretty freaking crazy. This is one of my like largest plants in my collection, but I've been saying it for quite a long time. I am not liking how it's growing. God, this lighting is awful. Let me see if I can make it slightly better one second. Yeah, it's huge, but I, uh, it's, t it's time for it to, to go. This is just not something that I could, can deal with anymore. I was hoping that it was going to get bigger and size up leaf size, but it really hasn't. Since the beginning, it's been about the same. And so I am just going to chop it. I will keep the top bit. I'm gonna keep the top bit and maybe start over. Maybe I'll keep the top and the bottom and start over, but yeah, I don't know. Cause the stem has gotten bigger, so it has matured a little bit, but there's just quite a lot in here that I'm just, I'm over, I'm done with it. I don't feel like it's making me happy anymore. And so we're just gonna go at it, I guess. And this is gonna look like a massacre as well because the sap is red on these. And it looks like blood. So my scissors are gonna get gross. I mean, it has rooted into the pole. I'm just gonna cut it off. Brutal. I have been brutal here. Oh my God. I don't regret it. And I'm gonna repot this smaller because it's kind of like a huge pot. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's look at what I've got down here. Look at all of these. So this is the top cutting, which I am gonna keep because like where's a good one to show you? Look at the size of the stem difference. 
like it is so so much bigger it's nearly doubled in size so like it is maturing hopefully if i can root this well then it'll be fine this leaf is sunburnt but it's got a beautiful bit of pink on the back oh my god my hands look at that um it's not blood it's <laughs> pink princess philodendron sap but all of these I'm going to give them away. I was originally planning to send these to anyone who wanted one, but I ended up offering them to my patrons first and they all got snapped up. So sorry if you wanted one, but maybe next time. Oh, look how cool that is. It's so red. It's so fun. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to put these in moss, I guess, but I'm going to let them dry out first because they're all like quite fresh cuts. And quite big I don't want to just like put them in moss while they're seeping loads of sap so yeah they need to dry out a little bit before I can put them put them somewhere better yeah I'm gonna wash my hands one sec so I think that is where I'm going to end this video just because I can't do anything else right now with them I really hope you enjoyed it I actually feel like quite relieved now I feel like some of these plants they were putting pressure on me that I didn't know they were like they I felt like I, I knew I didn't want them anymore but there wasn't anything I could do about it and I couldn't get rid of them because I felt too bad but now I'm just like being a bit brutal about things and if it needs a chop I'm gonna chop it and so Making the hard decisions, making this video has made the hard decisions easier. So thanks to all of you for being here and watching and maybe chopping with me. I hope I can encourage you to hopefully take the plunge as well or take the snip as well and get some of your plants propping and kind of giving them a new start. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other house Wendy things you'd like me to talk about in the future and subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.